So there was this viral post on Twitter that surfaced right after LeBron endorsed Kamala Harris. The tweet was supposed to be confirming that Michael Jordan was announcing that he was going to be endorsing Trump. Mm -hmm. But, and this went super viral, it had like over a million views. Now, this and it was on Twitter, so it circulated. There were notes, you know they do the community notes on X, where they'll tell you like, oh, this is not real, whatever, whatever. However, because there were some outlets and some people still picking it up, Michael Jordan's team has now given a statement to a rep for Michael Jordan has given a statement for to the independent saying that they strenuously deny that the basketball icon has endorsed either candidate leading up to this week's election. There is absolutely no truth to the claim that Michael Jordan has made an endorsement in the presidential election. Um, how do y'all feel about uh, celebrities as big as like a Michael Jordan or whoever deciding to not endorse anybody whatsoever in this election? It, it don't bother me, nothing. Yeah, me personally, I'm fine with it. They can decide who they want to do or what they want to do with their vote or how they want to use their influence. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah, there's 148 million people, uh, I think, who voted in the last election. I don't know. I don't know who those people vote for till after the fact, and I don't even know who those people are who voted. I just yeah. know it's a number, so gotcha. I could care less. I could care less I, whether they endorse or not. I actually think people stop needing to look at celebrities to see who they're voting for to decide who they're voting for. So, I I don't care. Why do you think that? Um, I don't think a celebrity could could move somebody. I think people need to do their own homework. I think gotcha. people need to do, do their own research. Got gotcha. you. Now, own I agree with you, Envy, that people should do their own research, research, and people should get their own information. But uh, I, I, I do think celebrities move forward. I go back and forth. Like sometimes I feel like I ain't nobody voting because of no celebrity. But that that'd be a lie. Celebrities do have influence. So some people are voting based off who their favorite celebrity is voting for. Because I did see a lot of people that uh, love Taylor Swift when she, you know, said that she was endorsing Kamala Harris. I seen a lot. A lot of people say, well, I still am voting for this, but I'm still a Taylor Swift fan. So yeah. I don't know how much influence it, it really does have. I, I don't know. I don't know either. I just ask that because there's always that back and forth about it. And I know that this election is like such a, you know, it's, it's very important. And I thought it was kind of like, Kind of timely and kind of planted that the minute LeBron came out and endorsed Kamala, very strong. He mm -hmm. posted, uh, you know, like, are y'all crazy? Like, what else would I be doing but voting for her? And then he posted a video of, like, uh, like a mashup of, like, Trump's lies. This tweet surfaced, and I'm like, hmm, why would it be important to combat LeBron unless people think celebrities are influential in this? I don't, they, think, MJ, they, if, I don't think MJ if, has ever said he, who he was voting for, never. But you know how powerful that would be, in my opinion, if he did right now for, for wh whoever, whatever I mean, side. If they, if, if they want to endorse, great. If, if they don't, I, it don't bother me either way. Got you. Well, in other news, Jason Kelsey, uh, he had to issue a public apology via ESPN on Monday night. So he opened up Monday, uh, Monday Night Countdown issuing an apology because he got into it with a student or a person. I don't know if this person was a student at Penn State, but a person who's a fan at Penn State when this fan ran up on him and called uh, his brother a gay slur mm -hmm. because of the fact that his brother is dating um, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift, thank you. Mm -hmm. Let's take a listen to the original audio of when the incident went down. Kelsey! Hey, Kelsey! Kelsey! Kelsey, can I get a fist bump? Kelsey, can I get a fist bump? Give me my phone, Kelsey! Give me my phone! Give me my phone! Now, in that video, I mean, we had to bleep it, of course, but uh, the interaction is, it, like, he says to uh, Jason Kelsey, uh, your brother is the F-bomb, the gay slur, because he's dating. How do you feel because he is that, because he's dating Taylor Swift? And then Jason Kelsey throws that same word back at him three times in that video. So on Monday night, um, he issued this apology. Let's take a listen. You know, listen, I think everybody's seen on social media everything that took place this week. I'm not happy with anything that took place. I'm not proud of it, and you know, in a heated moment, I chose to greet hate with with hate, and I just don't think that that's a productive thing. I don't think that uh, you know it leads to discourse, and it's the right way to go about things. In that moment, I fell down to a level that I shouldn't have. So I think the bottom line is I uh, try to treat people with common decency and respect, and I'm going to keep doing that moving forward, even though I, I fell short this week. Yeah, I think we got a game to focus on. A matchup. I don't think this is the platform to necessarily uh, go into more detail. So get ready for this Chiefs game. Now we'll say, hey, go ahead. I uh, know. I said, what a world we live in when men are calling other men gay for dating women. Is this is this is this what happens? Is this what happens when you have seventy two genders? I don't know what is going on. 
I'm gay now. I'm dating a woman. Because like, well, what's, what's well, up, man? Well, we don't what's know what Taylor Swift identifies as. Maybe that's the reason. I don't know why. She identifies like, as a hell? cat lady. Remember, <laughs> she posted her photo. She's a cat lady. But he's, he's right. But like, he, the man is dating a, a woman. I'm dating a woman, and you call me a gay slur. <laughs> Y'all talking about that? Is, is I, this what happens when you have 72 genders? Are we here now? Is it? It's gay to date women 72 now. 72 genders remind me of that song. The type of gun to make it you. I love my bubble gun. I don't know why I thought about flavors of bubble gum. No. Okay, whatever. Maybe normal gay guys date women nowadays. Maybe that's what this is. Don't confuse me. What? J.D. Vance uh, said that him and Trump are going to get the normal gay guy vote. So maybe if you're a normal gay guy, you date women. <laughs> it's nowadays. too much. That could be it. Wait. The nor- MB. Mm-hmm. That would be a bisexual man. I don't know. That's one of the 72. 72 <laughs> flavors of that bootylicious. <laughs> Yo, stop it. See, it right. made you think of that song, too. And he looked oh, at me like I was crazy. Goodness. The type right. of man to make it true with love for bubblegum. All right. Well, that was just I don't, hey, by the way, also. by the way. I thought it was think, crazy that he got he was able to get on ESPN and apologize. I'm not even going to hold y'all. I was like, oh, what? Oh, they would have canceled. They would have canceled what? anybody else. They like him. I think I think Jason handled it appropriately. Now, you, you know, in, in, in the heat of the moment, you know, he was matching energies. But as far as snatching dude phone and slamming it to the ground, I don't have a problem with that because it's going to cost him a couple dollars it's gonna, probably. It's going to cost him. Yeah, yeah. there's an investigation but, too that they opened the PA, but that probably will close because they're going to see everything. Stop treating public figures like they're not human. Like that man is just walking trying to get the way he's trying to get to and you got a phone in his face calling his brother a gay slur. He ain't no Buddhist monk. He ain't no Zen master. Like he ain't no stoic. Like he supposed to not react. Like get out that man's face. But Why the, you playing with that man like that? You but, lucky he ain't slapped it at you. But the sad thing is people do that for the reaction, right? Yeah, they what? do that for the reaction. They do that to well, get hit. They do that so they can sue. They do that for the cl- quote unquote clicks. People well, think it's cool till they get their teeth knocked out, and that's what I'm. And that's what needs to, that. That's honestly sometimes what needs to happen. Sometimes an example needs to be made out of somebody so crazy that the next person in some place else is thinking, "Nah, I don't do that." Because remember what happened when that dude ran up on uh Jason Kelsey? He got his teeth knocked down his throat. Like, it, you, you, they stop playing with people. Like, why do we think it's okay to play with people in that way? All right. Well, that is just with the mess. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.